Hello, this is David Hale with Tech Dive TV. This is our 500th posting today. Yep, today is Thursday. It's Tech Dive TV Help Desk Day. But I wanted to make sure you knew that it was episode 500 of the blog overall. Now, today's topic for Tech Dive TV Help Desk is the iPad. Now, I've had an iPad, and I have an iPad 2, and I've had it for a number of years, and it works flawlessly, so I've seen no reason to replace it. Eventually, I'm sure I will, but so far, I've had good luck with it. Uh, a friend of mine had an iPad 4, uh, and she started having issues with it. So she called me up and said, uh, my iPad is turning blue and restarting. So I said, well, I'll take a look at it. And sure enough, it would boot up, look fine. And within a few seconds, the screen would flicker and turn blue. Then it would turn black and then see the little Apple logo as it was rebooting. So I knew I couldn't fix this. This was not a software problem. So I took it to a local Apple only store. It's not an Apple store. It's a store called Springboard Media and it's local to me. And they, have, they only sell Apple products and they only service Apple products. But they're very good uh, people there and very smart people. So I brought the iPad in and they looked at it and they said, yeah, looks like the video system has failed. But you know, they don't fix iPads like they used to fix computers. They said, well, we can get it replaced for you for $299. So I went to my friend and said, hey, they can replace it for $299 with the exact same type of unit. Now, she has an iPad 4 with 3G or 4G or whatever they have and 32 gigabytes of memory. So for $299, you got a replacement. So I said, fine, she doesn't want to do it. So I went back and did it. And the iPad came in and she had backed up all her stuff to iCloud. Very smart because when I got the iPad back, all I had to do was restore the iCloud and everything came back. Her icons even came back in little groupings that she had. Her lock screen came back. Her background came back. Everything came back. The only thing I had to put in there was the password to her wireless network. So it was quite effortless. And kudos to Apple for such a good way to restore an, a different iPad to a person's account. Now, Google can do pretty much the same thing with you know Android tablets and phones, but with Apple, it was just flawless. I was very impressed. So if you have an iPad and it's broken and you need to replace it, if you're backing things up to iCloud, your settings, your icons, your applications and stuff, uh, it's a really easy way to bring everything back. So this is David Hale with Tech Dive TV on the 500th posting. You have a great day.